What's up guys, Tony here with High Tech Check, and today we're going to be taking a look at an external battery for your Nintendo Switch. Now anybody that has a Switch and has played uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild knows that that game sucks down your battery life like crazy. And what happens if you're out there and you're not near a wall outlet to charge your Switch back up? Well that's where you need an external battery and this particular one that I have here is made by Lyasi. Now the construction is uh, made of all plastic. It's pretty sturdy. Um, it doesn't feel cheap from the outside. It's got your little vent port here to release some of that hot air inside your switch. Your switch has these as well. On the back here it's got two little kickstands because when you have the battery on it extends out too far for your regular kickstand and your switch to work. And then you have your little power button here, so when you're not using it, um, you just don't push in the power button. But when you do push it, it lights up to let you know what the battery is at, and four means it's at 100%. This is a 5800 milliamp hour battery and the output is 5 volts, 2 amps. Now the regular charger that you use for the wall for your switch is 15 volts, uh, I believe 2.6 amps. So this will charge your switch, but it's going to be uh, a little slower than when you're using your wall adapter. And then you got your little USB-C plug right here. So let's put it on the switch and let you see what it looks like. So here you just take your switch, you're gonna push it down and then you have your the top part here extended out. So then you just take your switch and push it down on top of the USB-C. Then you take the top portion and just clamp it down onto the switch. And as you can see, it is charging right now. We're at 71%. and the blue lights stay on when it is connected to something. So you always know uh, what the battery status is of your battery. Now, if the lights aren't on, all you have to do is hit the power button and it'll turn on. So the only way to turn it off is to disconnect it from the switch. Other than that, once you hit the power button, it will just stay on there. And then as far as these little kickstands go, there's two little positions like that flat out and let your switch just sit like that or you can extend them one click over and it'll kind of lean a little bit further back for you and then to um, take this off all you need to do is pull this out just like that and then you can take your switch out just slide it out from the USB-C and pull it out. And see, once you disconnected the battery already, it turns off by itself. And it doesn't obstruct your, uh, your playing abilities. See, there's a ton of room on the back here. And then let me show you how how your kickstand does not work. So here you have your kickstand. So here you have that extended, but when you try to make it stand, it's just gonna fall because it um, the battery's too far extended out. So that's why we have these kickstands here. Now with the Joy-Cons connected to your switch, they charge uh, when they're connected to the console. So right now they're charging and I charge this from uh, 3% all the way to 70% using the battery and that was a, a the battery was at 100% so charging the Joy-Cons and the switch at the same time you'll get a 70% charge out of this battery. Of course if you take the Joy-Cons off it will give you more charge for the main switch. So if you're looking for something to uh, stick on your Switch when you're away from a wall outlet, 
I would definitely recommend getting a external battery set up for it. So, you know, you play during the day and maybe pop it on at night and then let it charge overnight. And when you wake up in the morning, your switch will be charged up already. But uh, that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask. I may be more than happy to answer any questions you might have. If you guys want to check this out yourself, I will be putting a link in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little notification bell to let you know I put out new videos. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Later.